Shalom, everyone. My name is Nadav Davis, uh, and I would just like to share a quick uh, Torah thought on this week's parasha, Parashat Shemot. Uh, the other night, I was learning with my dear friend, Rabbi Yosef Zanigian, and he shared an interesting thought uh, based on Sa'ad Yagaon's Tafsir, which is his Arabic translation of the Torah, which he and I both enjoy learning out of very much. Um, based on the Pasuk, uh, pasuk Het, where it says, Wayakom Melech Hadash al Mitzrayim asher lo yada et Yosef. And a new king arose over Egypt uh, who did not know Yosef. Of course, there are many interpretations on what this uh, particular pasuk means. We have Onkelos, of course, that says, uh, Yosef, that, he, that the new king did not keep the decrees of, of Yosef. Uh, but interestingly enough, Sa'ad Yaga'on uses an interesting term here. Uh, it's, Wa yushahid, yushahid meaning he did not witness, he did not see, or he did not witness. Now, we would say that in this sense, is, is it a physical witnessing and seeing? It makes perfect sense. How could he not have seen all of the good that the Gezerot, that Yosef uh, decreed upon uh, Egypt in order to bring about all the good? What does this mean? The root word shahad in Arabic, it means to witness or to see or to bear testimony. It also means to assist and to show, depending on the context, whether it's a legal context or a philosophical context, uh, it, it, it can mean also to assist. So that goes, in a way, very nicely with uh, Onkelos' translation, where he did not, or his interpretation rather, saying that he did not keep the decrees of Yosef. If we assume that it's a new king, uh, as some Mepharshim state, it was a king who usurped the Egyptian throne. It kind of makes sense, you know, that I'm the new king now, I'm going to come in and I'm going to reverse everything that the previous king did or allowed. Why? Ga'ava. It's simple ga'ava. I want to come in and redo everything and make everything in my own image, regardless as to whether or not the decrees that were made previously were good for the people. But this new king uh, was not a champion for the cause. He was not appreciative of all the good that Yosef had done for Mitzrayim, again, based on his ga'ava. Uh, Ha'emek Davar, the Nitziv, takes has an interesting take on this, and he says that it's because he didn't know how. And he's assuming that it was not a new king, meaning that it was a king who had new ideas based on pressure from his advisors, or just based on his own personality. He allowed Yosef to do what he did because clearly it was beneficial, but he didn't know how to appreciate it. He didn't care to appreciate it. And once Yosef, once Yosef was gone, he under, attempted to undermine everything that Yosef had put in place. But that's because he didn't know how to appreciate it. And it's a lesson for all of us to appreciate the good that other people do for us in our lives, especially as it relates to Klal Israel, to the Jewish people. Every single mitzvah that we do, every single, any good thing that you can think of that you do for another Jew is beneficial not only to him or her, but also to yourself. And so the idea here is to witness, to be in essence a shahid, to be a witness to be a perfect example and testimony of the good that we do for other people. Now, of course, we hear the word shahid and we think of, you know, people who become martyrs for the sake of Islam. But the word shahid means simply someone who witnesses, someone who sees something, and in turn is a champion for a cause, for a good cause. And in this case, the king of Egypt was not willing to take up the mantle, or rather continue it, based on his own ga'ava, based on the fact that he could not see a Jew, uh, which is, you know, we see right there, a clear case of, of anti-Semitism, if we want to call it that. He just could not allow this Jew that came from this lowly people who were sojourning in Mitzrayim to get all the credit for assisting the Egyptians. And his ga'ava was so great that he was willing to cause further suffering for his own people, reversing the decrees. Or if he was going to keep the decrees, he ended up causing the suffering of the main people 
who produced Yosef HaTzadik, who put those Gezerot in place that benefited not only the Jewish people, but for his nation as a whole. So it's just an example and a great lesson of how we have to be appreciative for everything that we do for each other. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.